Hi everyone, this is SanfordBoardWork.com and today we're taking a look at LG's 21x9 Ultra Wide TV. Now, this TV, the specific model for this is the 29LN 450W. So it's the it's um, basically an LED display and we're gonna show you a few um, a few of the specs right here. Now here it goes, it's a ultra wide 21x9 uh, cinema scene. So it's an extra view TV, so it has a, I guess, an extra, it, it basically gives you more, more real estate um, lengthwise than, uh, actually widthwise, um, than, you would, than you would with your regular um, TVs or monitors. Now this is go going to be used as a secondary, um, as a pri primarily as a monitor and sec secondary as a TV. So um, we basically, the um, refresh rate is going to play a lot into that now um i haven't had a chance to use it yet but we'll let you know exactly how it fares after we've had a ch uh, had a go at it so uh it's led display it's led backlit and it has a few um ports at the back which we're going to take a look at once we pop this thing out of here so let's open this up as you can see it, it can hardly fit in to the uh, camera view here or the camera um the current view on the camera because it's pretty wide. Hopefully when I take this out of the box, it will give us a little bit more of a, um, you know, a little bit more of an idea of exactly how wide this is. So I'll pull this out and put it behind me. Now, so you have the monitor. That's the monitor first, the display itself. Move another styrofoam cover here. And below, pieces of styrofoam. Um, these are all cables, and uh, let's see what kind of cables come with this. Are we lucky enough to get a DV, uh, I'm sorry, a HDMI cable in here? So here we have um, user, oh, it's a user manual, a user guide, DVI, power, remote, and that's the other half of the power. And then you have um, AAA batteries for your remote. This is, huh, okay. Oh, this is basically a manual uh, LG software instruction system requirement. So if you want to get the, uh, it does a picture in picture or split screen um, instruction. So this is the instruction over here. And this is more easy setup guide and a DVD for setup. And this is the base over here. Now that's basically everything apart from the, uh, oh yeah, this also is part of the base. I'm sure it goes in just, this is part of the base as well as the base and it just goes here. So this I guess is the stand and the base or the stem and the base, however way you want to refer to it. But that's everything. Um, it also has a couple of screws to screw the base in. So we'll put everything, um, put this aside and we'll bring the screen back up and take that cover off of it. Now, this. Oh, this way, I'm trying not to drop this. Now, this is a beautiful looking screen. It's pretty thin as you can already tell, but we'll go ahead and show you how really thin it is. So over here, you can see how thin that truly is. Show you the top view over here. All right, and show you the bottom view over here. Now that's where the base goes, so it's a little thicker to handle everything. I guess you have speakers and vents over here as well, as you can see. Now. <clears throat> On the front right side of the panel, you can see volume up, down, channel up, down, OK, settings, input, and I.O., so basically on off. But the buttons are actually on the bottom over here, so they correspond to the markings on the front. Now, we're going to flip this around to the rear, and maybe we'll take this off for now. Take this. So you can see this a little clearly. Now let's see what the connections are over here. I'm gonna zoom in there just for a little, just a little bit, zoom in, and we'll walk you through the connections, right? This is a component HD, and um, over here we have our audio in. We have um, one uh, display port, two HDMIs, one DVI, 
one, uh, I guess, regular uh, optical end or cable. So if you want your um, regular cable line to go in there, it could do that directly. This is a TV, a USB port, and I can't quite figure out what the HP, oh, this is for your headphones. So you can plug headphones directly into this. Now uh, this is for the power. Ultra wide 21 by nine aspect ratio display from LG. Now this display is, as you can see, quite beautiful. It's really one of the best looking monitors I have seen to date. Now I'm gonna point out a few specs in this monitor. This monitor, as I mentioned, has a 21 by nine aspect ratio. The uh, resolution it supports is 2560 by 1080. So it does support full HD and even adding to that full HD ex experience is the fact that this is an IPS display. So you're very sure that the pixel density on there would basically blow you away with the quality of the picture. The black to black ratio on this or the black to black transition on this, it's really amazing. You get, you get really dark, um, dark, or should I say really dark blacks or really dark, dark colors, however way you want to put it, and some really vivid, um, you know, colors on here. It is, you can't really stress how beautiful this screen truly is. Now, um, a few features on this screen really stand out. Now, the screen is basically, um, you know, it, LG has gone ahead and provided software for this monitor called the screen split software. Now, this screen split software enables you to use software to optimize your monitor. And what does that mean for you? It means you can basically treat this monitor as multiple monitors, you know, when you're using it. And yes, the screen, this monitor does have quite a bit of um, screen real estate so you can actually use that um, use the screen use mo multiple software at the same time or sim while simulating multiple screens lg has also done something else which is it's um, which is really um, very useful for this device which is it's now included a um, a picture in picture it has a picture in picture feature that allows you to use two different sources and basically designate different um the different setups of the picture-in-picture -picture, um, function. Now, um, let's before we touch on that, let's just go ahead and give you a, a few more features about this um, device. So this device actually comes with uh, touch-sensitive controls. Now, the touch-sensitive controls you would find right below the right the right lower portion of the of the screen. While this is while it's nice to have the placement for those controls over there, it is really somewhat it, it really takes away from the experience of using this beautiful monitor um, when you're trying to basically navigate those keys um, by touch only simply because each time you touch any one of these um, of these controls or, or any one of the oh yeah simply when you touch any one of these controls it automatically or it automatically activates that function so you really can't use this by touch alone you have to know exactly what you're about to hit at a particular time and that could take away from the experience now what I would suggest is use the remote that does come with the device the remote basically does a whole lot and basically in giving you an amazing experience it, it lets you basically use all the functionality of the screen while having that tactile feedback without you know jump into a feature you might not have been planning to use now let me go ahead and um, take a look we can go ahead and take a look at the picture in picture feature uh, first the picture in picture feature here would allow you to basically choose multiple sources to use with this um, display so right now I have only one um, uh, I have a HDMI um, output uh, connected or so I have a HDMI cable connected and um, and I have basically nothing connected to my um, to my TV signal so my computer is connected through HDMI. So what you'd see here is basically um, the picture-in-picture -picture option saying, oh, what option do I need? I have nothing connected to the display port. So I will go with TV only, hit OK. Now you can now see that my PC is now to the left of the screen, whereas um, the TV signal, which you can see the white noise is on the right of the TV. I can then specify, huh, I want to change the picture-in-picture um, -picture size. So now it's now a picture within um, the, the, the uh, HDMI signal and I can change that box however way I want and then cycle through that and that was side by side so that is quite useful now to get out of here um, you basically just hit the 
picture in picture button again and you switch back to your original uh, source now this would be very useful if I had something else connected let's say I had a gaming system connected to my uh, to my display port or uh, my PC connected to the dis display port and the HDMI um, uh, gaming system connected to the HDMI um, uh, port now that would let me basically game and use my PC at the same time. Why would I want to do that? Hmm, I might want to look at tutorials while I'm playing a game or who knows. Um, there, there are really, really, really many options I can do with that. Um, now let's go ahead and look at a software option. That's the screen split software from LG. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch that and right away it's done um, two screens. So what I'm going to do here Oh, actually, I have no screens um, set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically expand on all the screens I currently have open. And I'm going to go ahead and say, um, you know, oh, we'll pop this open as well. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open up a game right now, this, which is Guild Wars 2. And while that's loading, I am going to switch out of it. Oh, actually, maybe I should do this. I should let that load and then switch over here. Now, going back to the screen split software, now what, what's going to happen here is I'm going to activate it from my taskbar. I'm going to go right click on the screen split software and choose one of the multiple options it has. It has off, two screen, uh, multiple two screen modes, multiple three screen modes, and a four screen mode. So I'm going to choose one of the three screen modes and I'll choose the screen, three screen bottom. Basically it splits my screen, it takes my screen and splits it into two um, horizontal halves and then the top of my screen is then split in half again to make it basically two screens on the top and one on the bottom. So you see how this works right now. So here you go. Now let's say I don't want my want my uh, Firefox open on the bottom of my screen. I want to swap that out from my Excel spreadsheet. I can easily do that by just click and moving. Now I can do the same with my uh, Explorer window. Click and move and I can do the same with um, you know, I, I can do the same by basically minimizing the Explorer window and um, let's see, opening this up, opening up my Excel spreadsheet, or should I, I'm sorry, open up my um, Explorer um, browser and basically reapplying my three screen option. So this is a different three screen option which I can shuffle around as well. So move that around. And now I'll just show you exactly what the four screen option looks like. And that's the full screen option. Now, this is really useful if you basically find yourself doing a lot of research and typing at the same time. You no longer have to alt tab um, to get around um, your work. You basically have everything on screen on this amazing screen real estate where you can actually read clearly what's going on and um, you know type at the same time. So this is really uh, this really takes the screen from just being a display and turn it into a functional device. Now. This screen is could be used as a monitor, but I will also stress the fact that this is a fully fledged TV. It has speakers and it does have uh, channel tuners, so you can use this as a hundred percent as a TV if you choose to. A uh, twenty-nine inches. This is big enough to use as a TV, and this is also amazing um, if you want to do a um, PC setup without having to do multiple PCs, but still get that look and get that feel or that functionality of having multiple monitors. Uh, well. That's actually an amazing feature from LG. Now let's go ahead and take a look at exactly how this um, screen holds up against some gaming. I've opened up, as you saw previously, I opened up uh, Guild Wars 2. And now let's see if there's any ghosting while I do this. I'm sorry, my system switching back and forth has kind, of, kind of slowed it down for a little bit. All right, so now let's go ahead. We're doing this. Okay, no ghosting whatsoever. Let's do a move while moving and changing camera angle. So I'm going to do an action move while moving and changing camera angles. No ghosting whatsoever. So this screen really can handle almost basically everything you can throw at it. It's a beautiful IPS display. It has really great resolution at 2560 by 1080. Um, this, it, it, basically, it uses, as you can see here, it uses an external power brick um, because it has no onboard PSU, making the build quality of this a little bit more, or should I say, making the design of this a little bit more um, uh, svelte and ergonomic, making the screen actually thinner and a presence on your desk 
a lot smaller. So there's really no no negatives you can say about the, or you, you, I can really say about the screen. It's positive all the way for me. I'm actually having a really hard time giving this screen up at the end of the testing period because I genuinely love this monitor. Uh, once again, this has been Stan for BoardAtWork.com and this has been LG's LN450W. Enjoy your entertainment.